Everything you need to know about target CPA bidding in three minutes or less. I'm Jill Saskin Gales, a Google Ads coach, and we're diving into one of the four smart bidding strategies. The way target CPA works is you set a target cost per conversion, and then Google sets your bids accordingly to deliver that result. How does Google do that? Well, it looks at your historical conversion rates and based on that sets the right CPC bid for you in every single auction. Users are different. Some may potentially be more valuable to your business and so Google will bid higher for them and others, Google maybe thinks aren't as likely to convert. So Google will either sit you out of those auctions or bid lower. This is what we mean when we say it's a smart bidding strategy because the bidding algorithm is taking millions of contextual signals into account to set the right bid for you every single time. Just because you set a target CPA though, that doesn't mean it'll be your actual CPA. You're going to want to look at your data over time, not hour by hour or day by day, and you're going to want to make sure you set a realistic target CPA. So how can you use target CPA? You'll usually find it in your campaign settings underneath maximize conversions. You can tick the box to set an optional target CPA. I recommend setting your target at your actual 30 day CPA. I also recommend that you don't try to use this bid strategy unless you're averaging at least 30 conversions in 30 days or your campaign has been live for a long time so you have lots of conversion data. If you're not quite ready to set a target yet, stick with maximize conversions until you are ready. In some campaign types, you can actually set CPA targets at the ad group level, or you can use a portfolio strategy to apply the same CPA goal across lots of campaigns. Note that while it's possible in some cases to set CPC bid limits for your target CPA bid strategy to use, I don't recommend doing this. Either use smart bidding or don't. The one bid adjustment you can use with target CPA is a device bid adjustment. If you put in device bid adjustments, that adjusts your CPA target. So for example, if you have a target CPA of $50 and you put a minus 50% bid adjustment for mobile, what that will do is set a $25 CPA target for mobile traffic. When you use a target CPA bid strategy with a search campaign, you're going to want to pay attention to your search impression share. If you're losing a lot of search impression share due to rank, it could be because of quality score. We'll talk about that in another video, but it could also be because your target CPA is too low. As a guiding principle, you want to make sure that your average daily budget is at least equal to your target CPA, if not more than it. So in theory, you can afford at least one conversion a day. Target CPA is a great choice for you if you have a desired level of efficiency that's realistic for your business and or if you're ready to scale. If different conversions are more or less valuable to your business, you'll probably be better suited to the target ROAS strategy instead. Got a question about target CPA bidding? Let me know in the comments.